Hey, Master Gardeners, I was out early this morning. I was actually out looking for a comet in the sky. And meanwhile, I went down to the maintenance area where there's a security light on at night. And I found one of the biggest flying insects that we have next to the moths and butterflies. And this is not a moth or butterfly, so we're going to look at it real close. But this is an eastern Dobson fly, and this happens to be a male. So he has huge clasping mandibles. And he's got a huge wingspan, almost four inches. So I'm going to slide him inside of this sleeve to keep him still for our video. And I'm going to show him to you. So come on over. Let's take a look. This is a big insect, and he's got a very interesting life cycle. One of the things he lives, this guy can be almost three years old. One to three years old. There he is. Big old boy. Can you see those big old mandibles on his tip? So when I touch him, let me slide my hand in here. He, he'll kind of rear those things up. He'll kind of he'll kind of rear them up. He's in the envelope here. So, but he'll rear them up, and he has class. Class they class. They say supposedly he utilizes those to hold on to his female, but actually there's really no good evidence that that's what he really does. So this is common in uh, fast-moving streams. These guys are loved by fishermen because they're wonderful bait for catching, they say, for bass. So what's the interesting life cycle on this guy? They actually are super big indicators of unpolluted water. So usually you find them near um, fast-moving streams and very clean water. And the female will lay her eggs on bridge embutments and logs and things, and they look like bird poop when they lay their eggs. And the eggs will then fall into the, the little things will hatch. And then they'll move into the water. And boy, they say they're incredible predators because they have huge mouth parts on them. The young, the young ones are called Helger mites, whereas this adult has a different name called the Eastern Dobson fly. You can see how big it is. Here's my grimy fingers, but you can see how large they are. But they pupate, well, they live in the stream sometimes up to three years in the stream that's a long time they're living underneath of rocks and things they're eating a lot of our other insects in the streams like caddisflies and stuff like that so they're supposed to be super great predators and then they want to crawl up on the ground so interestingly i wish you could see his body a little better his body you can see he's kind of worm like come here little guy can you flare your wings out his little body he's a, a worm with many segments no, I can't make him do that while he's in the envelope. And I can't really show him to you. Well, you can kind of... Nah, you can't make that up. Anyway, he's going to climb up on the water. He has spiracles on him and he breathes. It's an interesting phenomenon that it's an aquatic animal for those like almost one to three years. He's living in the water. But then he has these spiracles that allow him to breathe on land. So he climbs up on land, hides underneath of a log. They say they'll move as many as 15 yards from the water. And they'll lay and uh, they'll dig a cell underneath of a log and they'll pupate underneath of there and then they'll emerge as this adult. Hey, you little rascal. Yo, he's getting away. He's getting away. He's getting away. Hey, look at him. See, he's trying to bite me. Well, he's not trying to bite me. They say the males can't really hurt you. I'm going to put him back inside of his. Well, maybe I won't get him back inside of his container for a while. But there's his belly. There's his little abdomen. You can see his abdomen. There it is. So beautiful wingspan on him. So look at his big clasping mandibles. They say he molts 10 to 12 times underneath of the water. That's a lot of molting going on. Obviously, insect living a long time. Put your head down and pose for the camera. They say down in Virginia that sometimes during a thunderstorm, it'll trig trig trigger a synchronized movement of these guys coming out of the water and emerging up to do their pupating but typically they are attracted to lights at night and that's why i found him down here at the at the security lights males and females are drawn to the lights but typically they spend their life around vegetation around the streams and stuff but a beautiful huge insect wonderful to look at so eastern dobson fly called a helger mite when you buy him in the in the bait stores when you buy him in the bait store so he's a little aggravated here but perfect indicator of unpolluted water. So it's exciting for me to have found him down there in this area because it just says we've got a nice healthy strain. So this is a super beneficial insect that we want to make sure we conserve. So isn't that cool? Nice big insect that I wanted to share with you, Master Gardeners. Woohoo! Enjoy this summer day. Bye.